Hey guys, my name is Tom and welcome back to another devlog. In this one, I'll be working on raising and lowering the anchor. There's nothing super exciting to report today as I spent most of my free time brainstorming some ideas for this week's video. Since the networking tutorial series is sort of complete for now, I have to think up some other video ideas while I decide how exactly to continue that series. With it being the start of the new year, I think I'll make a video talking about some of my goals for 2020 as well as some of my thoughts on goal setting in general. Since it was New Year's Eve yesterday and today is New Year's Day, I didn't really work on the project much. I continued planning Saturday's video a bit, but that's about it. Happy New Year everyone! Yesterday I continued planning the video, but I procrastinated quite a bit, so to be honest I made very little progress in that regard. In my defense though, over the last few days we've been watching the Hobbit movies and the whole Lord of the Rings series, so that's been taking up pretty much all of my evenings. I've also been reading a lot, so I've been spending way less time at my computer than usual. It's a little after 10 in the evening now, and I've just finished implementing most of the server logic required to raise the anchor, as well as some of what I need to lower it in the first place. I still have to make it possible for clients to actually interact with the capstan, which is the part of the ship used to raise and lower the anchor. Earlier today, I also finally completed the planning for tomorrow's video, which I really dragged out a lot more than I would have liked. I'll record it tomorrow morning, and if I can get the editing done early, I'll do some more work on the project to try and make up for some of the time I've spent procrastinating recently. I didn't really do much over the weekend besides editing the video, and I managed to procrastinate that enough that I ended up uploading it at 5.45 instead of at 5.30 like I intended. I really don't like missing my upload time, and I ended up beating myself up about that quite a bit. Anyways, I'm ready to get to work on dropping and raising the anchor now, which I should be able to finish today. It's around 7.30pm now, and I've completed the functionality for dropping the anchor. This took longer than I'd hoped since I had to modify a large portion of the code that handles player input on the server to allow for continuous inputs. Basically, when you drop the anchor, I don't want it to start dropping immediately since it would be really hard to defend if you get boarded by an enemy player and they can instantly let your anchor drop. Instead, you'll have to keep the interaction button pressed for a short period of time before the anchor starts to drop. This way, if you get boarded, the enemy player will need to stay close enough to the capstan to keep dropping the anchor or risk take damage and dying at which point you'll be able to simply catch it before it drops completely. It'll make the process of anchoring other ships a little more challenging as long as the defending crew is paying attention. Up until now, all objects which you can interact with, the wheel, the ladder, the cannons, and the sail adjusters only require you to press the interact button once to interact with them. Modifying my input system took quite a bit of thought, and despite spending a lot more time on it than I intended, it still feels like it's pretty messy. I still have to make the capstan interactable on the client, so I have yet to test my modifications. It should work, although there's a good chance I overlooked a few minor things which I'll have to fix tomorrow. It's 7.26 at the moment, and I just finished up the anchor dropping mechanic. It took this long because I made a few frustrating mistakes which took a while to track down and fix. First, I had to make a few more changes to the input system because I realized I'd completely overlooked the fact that a player might continue to hold down the interaction button, potentially indefinitely. I want the anchor to drop after a certain amount of time, independent of when the player releases the button. This meant that I unfortunately had to refactor some of the code I wrote yesterday. After that, the anchor wouldn't actually drop even though the server was registering that the player was pressing and holding the interaction button for the sufficient amount of time. Eventually I noticed that I'd forgotten to give the capstan a position, so the server had it positioned at the ship's origin, meaning the interaction distance check was failing every time. I put this check in place to make sure that when a player requests to interact with an object, they're actually close enough to do so. And finally, I didn't properly integrate the anchor's state with my server rollback system, so when the player dropped the anchor, that command got overwritten by the state system when it rolled back and rewound to the present. However, it's now possible to drop the anchor. For now this just instantly removes all of the ship's horizontal velocity, so it's a pretty abrupt stop but at this point I'm not entirely sure how to go about smoothing that out while making sure the ship comes to a full stop. It's 5.40 on Wednesday evening, and I've been looking through the Beppu Physics GitHub page for the last little while. In order to raise the anchor, I need to rotate the capstan, which means that the capstan's collider can't be part of the ship's compound collider. In order to still get it to move with the ship and not like a loose object sitting on deck, I need to use Beppu's motion constraints. However, I'm not sure which ones will do what I want. I thought I had the rotation part figured out, but then I realized that I'd misunderstood how the particular constraint I was using works. Since I'm also not sure of which constraint to use to constrain the capstan's linear movement, I decided to ask a question on the forums. 
Since I can't really work on raising the anchor until I get an answer, I think I'll leave it here for today and enjoy the rest of the evening. Today I spent a lot of time helping people on Discord. I also had a very lengthy but productive chat with Kevin Kymak. He's the guy I learned networking from and after talking to him again after almost a year, I feel like a noob all over again. There's so much to learn in the realm of multiplayer and it often seems like I don't know much at all. Unfortunately, this means I didn't make any actual progress today. It's shortly after 11am and I just implemented the hinge constraint for the capstan, but it's not behaving at all how I expected. I'm not sure why the ship is spinning like this, so I guess I'll have to investigate, but this is really inconvenient because I wanted to be done with raising the anchor by this afternoon. It's now 1 o'clock, and after testing various things and doing some debugging, it seems that I simply mixed up the offsets of the constraint. The ship no longer spins anymore, but now the capstan's collider is orbiting the ship like a moon. I'm going to post another question on the Beppu Physics forums, because the hinge constraint is clearly not doing what I want, and I'm not sure what to do about it. Unfortunately, I'll have to leave it there for this devlog. The last two weeks I ended up cramming to get the video edited and uploaded on time, and I really don't want to do that again, so I'll at least get a start on editing today. I'll try to take some time on the weekend to fix the capstan's collider and finish implementing the anchor raising mechanic so that I can start something different next week. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button and let me know what you think in the comments below. In the next devlog, I think I'll either get started on building a launcher or I'll dive into client prediction, but I'm not entirely decided yet. If you'd like to join me on this journey of developing a multiplayer game, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you're always notified when I upload another video. With that said, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you again next time.